What does Mario Golf and Mario Tennis have in common? Nothing. All I know is that Nintendo wasted 15 years. Miss me playing FIFA where I gotta pay extra for FIFA coins when I got this. The best Mario sports game has finally come back again after 15 teen years that's 2007 when i looked like this goon when marvel did not exist mario strikers battle league is my summer game i find it calling me like some good it's been a minute sorry next level games was still able to bring back the fun and engaging gameplay like the previous mario strikers game yo what's good you already know i'm ken wall and mario strikers battle league is amazing oh my look at the mask with my boy <laughs> When it comes to playing a new game, I try my best to stay off the internet until I put enough hours into the game and I'm getting prepared to do my video. So it was a real surprise to find out what everyone was saying about this game because for once, we were all agreeing that Mario Strikers Battle League ruined the trilogy. You fucked up. You fucked up big time. Next level games in Nintendo botched this as badly as Spider-Man 3, but... I still meant every word I said in the beginning of the video. Mario Strikers Battle League is the third title in the Mario Strikers franchise. As with its predecessor, it brings many changes. Hammerhead, Drybones, Koopa Kid are all gone except for Toad. The previous system had a captain, which was a star Mario character, and the rest of your squad was the supporting cast. Drybones was the goat, don't at me. In Battle League, they got rid of this and made it where you play as just the star Mario characters. This change was really necessary for the game because it switched things up and it works really well surprisingly especially combined with the core gameplay mechanics next level games did a great job maybe too good of a job of not making this game feel the same as strikers charged but familiar they expanded the things you could do with the ball like you can do a lob pass lob shoot you can aim the ball when you shoot you can charge up your tackles now to drop kick somebody or bump into your teammates to launch them further it's really nice when games get to add a new layer of depth to the gameplay and it pays off i can't tell you how many times i bumped my brother into a fast break or into an item right before the enemy was about to get it again all these new mechanics still make battle league feel fun familiar and refreshing when battle league first got revealed i thought i wasn't gonna like a lot of the new changes especially the new hyper strikes i thought it was a downgrade and it wasn't gonna be as impactful as the previous i was happily wrong about this and many other things in the game like the cups there are six cups in the game at first i thought they didn't offer another difficulty option but once i completed it it was a nice surprise to see that a new difficulty option does get unlocked called galactic which is hard as a I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> As of right now, I have three cups left. If it wasn't for the goddamn Toad Squad, I would have been there already. Battle Leagues Online allows you to play quick play by yourself or with a friend locally or online. Gotcha, bitch. Mario Strikers Battle League is still a lot of fun, but it is a slap in the face to fans in just to generally anybody who plays video games. It's 2022. Nintendo, you should not be this bad at online. This game does not allow you to play with a full squad of your friends online, not in quick play, nor in the club matches. This ain't it, Chief! The only game I've seen this dumb shit in is Smite. Playing online is doo-doo. The connection is terrible, which is baffling since they had a demo the week before the game that was supposed to be a stress test. The online rewards are just coins. You couldn't give us exclusive gear? Shit, I would have taken exclusive gear that did nothing to your character stats. Just something. And this is the main problem with this game. Content. Let's get back to the local play. You know, the mode that most of us will be playing instead of that bum ass online. I'ma be saying this a lot, but after 15 years, you give us this? You give us 10 characters with no unique power-ups. Charge gave us 12, plus the eight sidekicks. Charge brought back all the original maps, plus 10 that each had their own gimmick to affect gameplay. But what do we get from Battle League? Oh, five regular maps that you can mix and match. Get Again, I like the new system with the star Mario characters, but the old system was better. I felt that they still should have added the sidekicks because 
Their gameplay was way more fun, and that's the goal. The reason why Mario Strikers is amazing is because it's not FIFA. It's not supposed to be a simulation. It's supposed to be fun. I feel like with this change, it made the game slower. Every time this game does something good, just around the corner, there's something bad to follow it up with. There are more cups in Battle League, yes, but they stripped everything that made it matter. How do you get rid of the headlines? Like, what the... They were just words. You couldn't fit it in the budget. You see, the headlines made it feel real. When you lost, you heard this. When you won, they rolled out the red carpet for you and your team, and you saw them celebrating. Battle League does have this, but does it do it better? Of course not. This was the area I really wanted to see expanded in the follow-up because Charge did it so damn well. This is why it is never a good idea to take this long to follow up with something. Just look at most of Disney's animated movies, Coming to America 2, Dumb and Dumber 2, and watch see when that way of the water drops. What makes this worse is that this is a problem that apparently has been going on for a long time time nintendo drops a sports game that isn't complete and lacks basic online fundamentals that metacritic score was deserving because everybody knew strikers was the best sports series and nintendo and next level brought the same bullshit from the other lackluster sports games into this treasured gem mario strikers battle league is a good time but not surprisingly it doesn't come close to the dynamic gritty sequel of Mario Strikers Charged. For me, this is my summer game, at least one of them. I like the changes that they made to the gameplay. They are not perfect, but they are fun. I love playing the cups with my brothers, and when it works, I love beating people online. But after waiting 15 years, this was disappointing. Nintendo just hasn't delivered on something that I loved since I was a kid. For God's sakes, where the hell is Metro Prime 4? Anyways, I'm hoping this game gets updates very soon that add more content. Damn, I can't believe I'm saying that. It really is signs of the times when I'm hoping for a game to add the content that should have been there from the jump. Next Level Games were delivering great games back to back to back. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss. But sadly, Battle League was just not one of them. As always, y'all already know I'm Ken Wall. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.